Good morning, brothers and sisters, or afternoon or evening, whenever you're watching this video. Um, Brother John, watchman for that great day. You know, it's funny, um, I haven't made videos for a while, uh, like I used to. The, the situation in this world is so intense, and, and you would think that because it's so intense, I'd be making more videos. But I'm just waiting on the King of Kings, just like we all are. I'm waiting on the Lord to give me uh, a leading, a guiding into what I should say. And I'm very careful in what I have to say at this time. So bear with me as I read you something and as we use our mind and our thought and try to understand what is happening on this earth right now just before Christ our Lord Jesus comes and gets us all right the rapture is at hand it's close none of us have hit it yet okay but we know we know that this day could be the day and we're hoping that this day could be the day we're hoping that any day in the next few days or week it will happen and there's many little uh, 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 pointings you know and, and, and perhaps today or tomorrow uh, brother Todd Napier uh, made a video which I will post on my on my community page um, that is interesting between the fifth and the sixth and the whole thing with Gemini investments and uh, so if you haven't seen it I'll post it on my on my community page but first I would like to first of all say I'm sorry that I haven't been making more videos but it's really me it's just your brother John waiting on the king waiting on the Lord living this life trying to get through each day and going through another bout of fatigue and uh, you know I think we're all just in a place where we're, we have to stay focused and we have to stay uh, uh, encouraged that he is coming. So be watching, be watchful. And so now let me share what I have to say this morning. So lately, and just thoughts, okay? Just, just realize this is just your brother thinking about the way things are on this earth and and you know, the political situation, which is now in America, um, is not good. And we see it moving towards the fall and towards, you know, November, right, for that election, okay? This is not necessarily about a man, although it is in the earthly realm, but it is about a perfect man, Christ Jesus, who's coming for us to take us out of here. So I don't know how to word this, but I'm going to just let the Holy Spirit just lead me and guide me and, and uh, you know, say what I need to say. Because I've been watching uh, the situation like you all have uh, with the election. Uh, I, I, I voted for uh, Trump. I voted for him the first time. I voted for him the second time. All right. And. I've said before that if he was going to run today, I'd vote for him again, okay? Because that's really the only choice that this country has. Only choice. Now, that said, he's positioning, he is positioning himself, and everything he says out of his mouth is all good for the country and, you know, all for the people, all right? So we understand that that's a good thing and that's what we all hope for is a great country and let's make America great again. But there's a problem with, with this at this time. It'd be different if it was 10 years ago or 20 years ago. Okay, make America great back a ways. But because what we know and how it relates to the return of Christ and there has to be a seven year period and that seven year period's gotta start somewhere this year at least, at least. And 
So then I just want to direct your attention to, I put this video, the Messiah 2030 part two, um, in the about box below this video. And um, I encourage you, if you haven't seen it, which you have plenty of time to have seen this video, but if you have not seen it, uh, Messiah 2030 part two, starting at like the 39 minute area, which it should come up, because that's where I, you know, copied the link at. But anyway, that directs our attention to um, a return in 2030. Now, if we're only the year off, that can relate to Deuteronomy 24, uh, 5, which says, when a man has taken a new wife, a new bride, he will be at home, not go out to war, uh, do no business for one year. So if there's a connection with 2030, being a jubilee, many of us have hit, tried to use the jubilee to, to get a, an accurate, uh, you know, direction on on the return of Christ. But, and we all kind of like, even if people thought it was 2017 and, you know, 18, and there's been other things. But bottom line is, if the jubilee happens to be in 2030, then that return comes and there's a year. All right, there'd be a whole year of him not going out to war and all this, not to finish. So it's just a thought, okay? But at any rate, it, it directs our attention to the 2030s, early 2030s, 2030, 2031, God forbid 2032, but 30 is 2,000 years from the time he was on the cross. That's important. You know, Second Peter 3, what is it, 310 or 39 says that God is not slack concerning his promises as man counts slackness. So his timing is perfect, and we are in that time. So anyway, getting back to what I, I'm trying to, uh, to share with you, it's important. It's about, it's about uh, Donald J. Trump, okay? Now, see, this is a hard topic to talk about because we know that he's the only one that can do anything for the United States, and yet the left is trying to, in every way possible, take him out, take him out, take him out. Isn't it funny they haven't taken him out or done anything yet? Okay, they're not able to, uh, you know, he's getting immunity from the Supreme Court. They're just trying every trick there is in the book to get him out. All right, not or so that he won't return. Now, you know, the devil knows he has a short time. You know, that that's something I, I pick up on when I read Revelation. And so, he knows he has a short time. Hmm. So there's time coming, and we're in that time where the seven years is about to start. Should that seven years start this year, the Trump presidency would take place during the first at least three and a half years. It's within the, the four-year term. So it's just a, you know, there's a number of things that have gone along with, with Trump since he became president the first time. And one thing that I cannot get past, and this is for all those uh, Christian believers that believe, you know, he's a, a, a believer and he's born again or something like that, okay? Uh, he's never made a public address saying he is a believer in Jesus Christ. He's been interviewed by uh, different people, and there's one guy, I can't remember his name, but I'm sure you've seen the video because it was, you know, it's been out for four or five years now maybe six or seven years, because it was an early uh, interview with Trump. And he was asked, and you all know this, if you're watching what's going on and you're being honest with yourself about who could Trump be. So, and I'm not saying he's the Antichrist. I'm saying he has a lot of what the Antichrist would, uh, would be, would want, all right? The, the, the man of sin that's going to come. There's got to be some man that comes that is, that is this man. All right, that absolutely is this man. So I'm just looking at the uh, 
attributes that Trump brings to the table. All right, just one focus on this guy, and there's channels, whole channels that talk about him being the Antichrist and everything else. I, I don't, I don't know. All right, I'm just bringing thought to you as the possibility, uh, uh, you know, occurs. Right, and for us to use our brain and our thought and keep our mind, okay, well. He could be, and someone else could be. This one could be. Obama could be. All right. I don't see really how Obama could be, uh, only because he's always been against Israel. And when the Antichrist comes, they will, uh, they the 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 Jews will accept him, just like John five forty three says. Uh, so Jesus said, "I come in my Father's name. You don't accept me." But if one comes in his own name, you will accept him. So who has been most accepted within our young lifetimes? Okay, who's been the most accepted president uh, by Israel out of all the presidents? Trump. Have have the, the Jews ever placed a made a coin with? with uh, Cyrus and uh, a pre uh, any other president? Have they uh, dedicated uh, the name of a train station to any other president? Um, oh, and back to that interview, the interview was with Trump and this man, and he was asked point blank, twice he was asked, have you ever asked God, and you know what I'm talking about, have you ever asked God for forgiveness? Isn't that the, the, the first thing you do? Becoming a Christian is a true believer in Christ asks forgiveness of his sin. And what did Trump say? No, I, I just try to do better. You know, I, I don't look at it like that, okay? And, and I can't remember the exact things that he said, but basically he didn't say, yes, I've asked Jesus Christ to be my Lord and Savior, which is anybody who, who would, remember what Jesus said, he that denies my name, I will deny before the Father. So maybe he's not outright denying, but he certainly did not answer uh, the question back in the day that he was being interviewed. And since then, most evangelicals have just written it off and they just believe God's with them and, you know, on and on. Um, you know, I don't consider myself any kind of... Uh, I don't want a title over my name. I don't want Watchmen for that great day. You know, I'm just Brother John, okay? I'm just a, a one of your parts of the body. I'm just, I'm your brother, okay? You're my sister. You're my brother. We're all in this same body of Christ together, so we have to get along. And so the... <laughs> The day is coming when we'll be perfect. No one will have any animosity or any, uh, you know, any angst against any of us, anybody. All right, it'll be a perfect day. But back to the thing with Trump. All right, and there's so much going on with him. And just recently, James Cadiz did a video uh, with a clip that maybe I could post it. If I will, I will try to post that video. Uh, I'll, maybe I'll just put it in my community page because I have a very hard time. You guys don't understand. It's so, it's just not the kind of person I'm cut out to be, you know, editing and doing all the things. I can do certain things, but anyway, all right. But he was talking about the abortion pill, and it just went that way where he he Trump basically said uh, he wouldn't block it, and so. There was just there's a whole bunch of controversial things that are seemingly coming out, you know, out in plain view now. All right, about you know what kind of a character, moral, the morals of this man are, and that kind of thing. And yet he'll stand up and say he's he's so happy that Roe versus Wade, and see we're all we're all happy, you know, that 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 got overturned, right? Because it's a baby's life. It's a, it's the it's the unborn that we you know help to protect, if anything. So why am I making this video? That's the question. Am I saying that Donald Trump is the Antichrist? Well, I'm saying that we need to watch, right? 
We're watching not for the Antichrist, but for Jesus Christ. But we need to, as long as we're still here, we need to kind of watch the movement on the world stage and who is going to come out of that group, right, to be that one guy. All right, and that's what we've been doing. There's a lot of us that watch. We're not watching for Antichrist. We're looking at it since we're here. We're looking at who could it be, right? So bottom line is this. In the timing that we're dealing with right now, knowing that something's got to happen in the next couple of years if you're going to give it that much, and that the seven years has to start even now, and now that we're coming to an election period where there's a three-and-a-half, four-year uh, term, all right? And so that kind of places, if we're really believing that we are in that moment of time, then we have to be honest and say, well, if Trump gets elected, then that puts him into that timing of, say, the first three and a half years of the tribulation until a midpoint where the man of sin gets taken over or uh, uh, possessed, if you will, by the son of perdition. So... There's going to be a man, whether it's Trump or anyone else, whoever you might think it is, he's going to come on the scene to change the world affairs, to change the way the world is. And that's going to happen, can't happen before the rapture, but this is like, in some ways, it's, it's a lead-in, okay? It's for us, for those who are really watching and hoping day by day that the Lord will take us today, we're watching the events take place, we're watching the political, we're watching the world scene, we're watching the wars and the, you name it, earthquakes and you name it, okay? Uh, Yellowstone, we're watching everything. We're watching the weather events. We're watching all of this because it's here to watch, because we're still here, which only makes sense. It's obvious. So, ultimately, I'm just showing you the possibility of the one that is going to come. Remember, he comes to change the scene of the world, to change times and seasons. All right? So, and Stephen Benoon did a video the other day. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier in this video, but check out uh, uh, Israeli News Live. Stephen Benoon, I could even find it and put it in the about box below this video. Uh, it's a 40-minute video. Uh, uh, now we know who the Antichrist is. So it's it's relative, all right? It, it doesn't give any names, but place the things around the different one that you think is is him. All we know is that the, the scene is set. The, the scene on this world stage is now set for the entrance of of someone that's going to be called the man of sin. And when he comes, he's going to change the way things are right now. The war, that's going to stop. It, whether it happens before we're raptured, that's another story. I don't think that's going to happen before we're raptured. I just think we're entering that time of where they will say peace and safety, but then sudden destruction. The rapture is going to be quite an event, and there will be a lot of destruction at the moment of the rapture. I'm sure of it, and I don't believe that the that will be necessarily war that is the destruct, destructive force. If God takes an airline pilot out, and that airline has 200 people on it, and it's flying, and you see, then all of a sudden there's no pilot or the co-pilot. Maybe both pilot and co-pilot are born again, all right? that we don't know the the total effect on the world, but there's going to be a lot of uh, sudden destruction when the rapture happens. So I don't think it's by nukes. There are many people thinking nukes are going to come down. I don't know. I, it's just my thoughts. But I will say this. Jesus Christ today is the same as he was yesterday. He's forgiving, merciful, and we're living in the age of grace. And today, if you hear his voice and you're not saved, come to him today. 
Ask him to forgive you of your sin. He will come in and not make haste. He will come in. He will seal your your name will be written in his book and he'll seal the Holy Spirit upon you and you're saved. And it's by grace, not by works. By grace, we are saved. So God bless you all, brothers and sisters. Um, I'll be making another video when God leads me to make another one. And uh, this is more or less just to let you know I'm still here. I love you all very much. And... <laughs> We're still here. We're waiting. We're watching. Anything new pops up that is uh, important to uh, our watch, I will bring it on. And there's many others that are doing great jobs. I'm going to uh, give a shout out to uh, Sister Lisa from Watchwoman 65, who's always on the news of the wars and, and what's going on. And, and uh, uh, Brother Chris from uh, uh, Global Rapture Watchers. And just different ones. Uh, Sister Gigi, you're doing a good job. God bless you, Brother Todd. Um, all my brothers and sisters that make videos, I love you all. Brother Bob, um, Brother Rick from uh, Departure Heaven. God bless you all. Because these days are the days that we've waited for. We are close. So just keep looking up. Brother John Watchman for that great day, signing off. See you soon. And for those of you who thought I almost forgot, I didn't forget. I figured I'd just make it the last tailpiece. So God bless you all. Keep looking up. Ready to hear the sound of the shofar. <laughs>